We got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. But before we start the show, remember everybody, you can always support the Hard Twins. Where? That's right. You guessed it. At OfficialHardTwins.com. <laughs> Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. And hats. Even got some bird products. <laughs> Use discount code CIRCLEBACK. I'll give you 21% off. Yeah. Everybody knows what's going on in Texas. They ain't having a natural disaster. Yeah, you can't prevent a natural disaster. I don't care how many cows you murder. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a damn cow holocaust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is not as a result of, like, climate change. Very well. You know, the lefties, they're going to say, y'all got all them cows down there busting all that ass. That's why y'all's weather screwed up. Yeah. That's why y'all shit and froze. I think I think climate change is well, well, it's always been real. I mean, my proof is this. Y'all remember the ice age? <laughs> y'all know all that ice melted? Them damn cavemen start burning them damn fires. All that smoke and CO two went up in the atmosphere. They was eating too many hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> they was killing too many damn mammoths, <laughs> cooking them up, frying them, sending all them damn carbon emissions up in the air. <laughs> That's what happened to the Ace Age. The caveman was responsible for that. We all haven't right. learned our lesson. All right. And we still eating all these damn burgers. <laughs> all right, let's get serious on this. Yeah, let's get serious on this. I mean, there's a lot of people going through some things down in Texas. Yeah. yeah. And Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted, why didn't you just go to Arkansas, man? <laughs> Mississippi? I mean, just, okay. I mean, Ted, obviously, Ted's got it like that. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, you let's go to Cancun. It's cold as hell out here. Let's go <laughs> Let's go to Cancun, Mexico, Daddy. He's like, yep, let's do it. it sounds good to me. Gets on the – how expensive was them damn tickets on last minute? They go to Cancun, but, I mean, Ted. I like you, Ted. Still what the, like you, Ted. Ted, let me ask you a question. What the hell <laughs> were you thinking? You know what these liberals going to do. I mean, I know if I we're at the airport, and we getting recognized by yeah. hundreds of people. Yeah, I know they recognize your ass. Yeah, you should have put on an afro or something, some shades. Uh, yeah, you got to come up with a disguise. Yeah, you should have put on a '70s outfit, put on an afro and some shades. <laughs> <laughs> y'all could have, y'all could have put on some Halloween costumes, yeah. some. I mean, you stuck out like a sore thumb. I mean, you got that damn mask on with the Texas flag on. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm going to Kansas. <laughs> I mean, just the optics of that. I yeah. mean, I don't blame you for leaving. Yeah, you just I mean, taking how, care of your, your family. you just taking care of your I kids. mean, how many other Texans yeah. got up and left Yeah, when he said he's coming? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure thousands of Texans left. Yeah. But they're going to hold Ted Cruz to a high standard. I don't. These families that left prior to this storm because they knew it was going to be bad, yeah. they're just looking out for their families, right? Ted yeah. Cruz is doing the same thing. We ain't got no power. We ain't got no heat on. Hell, let's go to Cancun. Yeah. Um, I mean, I okay, I understand why people's giving them crap. I mean, yeah. he's supposed to be, what's that uh, metaphor? The captain goes down with the ship? That's BS. The that's captain just, never goes down with the ship. <laughs> that's just in the movies. <laughs> this is real life we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what was look, that movie? It was called um, 2012. Y'all remember the, the black president? 2012, man. Yeah, 2012. Remember, mm -hmm. black, they had a black president. They had Danny Glover, and he's supposed to be the president. Yeah, progressive. <laughs> yeah, he was progressive, I'm sure. And you know how the world was in. He stayed and stuck around with At the, the White House, yeah. No, that, that only happens in the movies. <laughs> if there's a nuclear war <laughs> or and, something, and or, there's bombs coming down, you yeah. think Joe Biden is going to be out there giving people Band-Aids and bottles of water? No, the, he's going to be in a buck. You think Ted Cruz is going to be out there? I'm going down with the ship. No. No, they what did George Collins say? They're in a the club and we ain't in it. Yeah. He's I don't understand. Take, look at it like this, everybody. On the left or the right. He's taking care of his family. Yeah. Everybody should take care of their family. You don't rely on your government for anything. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, you, you can, just don't. I mean, you, you save money. Yeah. When there's a natural disaster, be prepared for it. Ted yeah. Cruz was prepared for it. A lot of citizens of Texas was prepared for it. Like if a hurricane's coming to Puerto Rico, are you going to stick around for that shit? No, I mean, you're going to get on a plane and get the hell out of here. Well, some people can't, man. They well, some got... people can't. If I'm there and I got a house in Puerto Rico and they say a hurricane comes, I say, how long we got? 
three days? Well, we leave in two nights. <laughs> I'm not going to stick around for that. Uh, let me say this. Now, they have an infrastructure down in Texas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got systems already in place for when natural disasters happen, like the power company. I mean, y'all do y'all actually need Ted Cruz to be there every minute of the day? I mean, I could see if he was a member of the power company he was leaving. Yeah. And all them, the <laughs> power company employees, man, it's cold as hell out here. Let's come back when it's warmer. Yeah. No. Nah, Y'all have an infrastructure in, in place, infrastructure yeah. in place to handle this. Yeah. Ted it's, Cruz, I'm sure they've, the government, the local government, they've made all the decisions and calls that need to be made right now. Yeah. He didn't actually have to be there. I mean, it would have been nice if he was there, though. I mean, the Makes you look like a real leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean. I'm going to tell you like this, Ted. I don't blame you for leaving. I've been in, when I was living in Virginia, in California, they would have like, like especially California, they would have rolling blackouts. You didn't have no power. Mm -hmm. Same thing was going on in Virginia. You would have no power. I would get the kids and the wife, because I saved money. We would go stay at stay at a hotel. Yeah, I mean, you know? but it's so bad. Many Texas, families do that. Yeah, but I, there's so many people. You gotta like actually leave Texas. It's that bad. Yeah, it's it's horrible. You can't drive like a. I hour mean, they away. got cows out there like this, man. <laughs> what? They finding cows froze to death, man. Up on their back with their legs up in there like that, man. This shit, that's crazy, man. They turn, it's so cold out there, man. It's turning cows into popsicles. Man, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. They're, Texas have never, like, it's snowing in Houston. Yeah. It never snows in Houston. Yeah. It's just horrible, man. I mean, I know there was a... Uh, a severe weather um, warnings when this was uh, coming, yeah, coming, and yeah, but nobody knew the power grid was going to go out. Nobody knew it was going to well, be this. It kind of goes hand in hand. Whenever a severe like yeah. snowstorm hits Virginia, yeah. your power going out. I'm yeah. sure they seen this coming. Yeah, a lot of times the power go out. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they seen. Well, it Well, you coming. remember that time we was in California doing our very first comedy show, and that snowstorm hit. We got like three feet of snow, and the power yeah. never go out. Yeah, yeah. So it's not always the case when uh, uh, when it gets cold. Yeah, it just. A lot of things, a lot of bad things have had to happen before you know it got this bad in Texas. Let me talk to that power grid. Yeah, let out. me talk to Ted. Man, you could have waited to go to Cancun, <laughs> man. Y'all could have just, man. When everything gets better, power comes on. Let's go ahead and go to Cancun. I can't go. Y'all went right in the middle of the damn. I was on Texas. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, day after tomorrow, the damn them big ass storms. The, the I was on Texas, and y'all left. Yeah, I mean it was well, just. But I, I mean. To his defense, though, Key, he never told Texans to stick around. I, I know that. I mean, like, you look at these liberal politicians. Uh, but that's a lot of politicians. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah liberals, yeah. they're going to spend things. Like, these liberal politicians, they're saying, stay home, don't travel. Then you find them in, in these countries traveling with their families, oh, doing during all COVID? these things. During COVID? Yeah. Yeah, that looks really bad, right? Ted Cruz never said stick around. I mean, anybody in a financial position, if you was able to get out, yeah. get out. Ted was one of those people. A lot of Texans left. Um, you know what? And now I know people's going to use this like when he runs for president or yeah. for Senate again. I mean, you yeah. barely beat Beto's dumb ass last time. And he's an he is a total moron. Well, it's nothing against Ted Cruz. There's a bunch of idiots moving to Texas. Yeah. And y'all already just got a bunch of dumb asses down there to begin with. <laughs> From California. Who the hell votes for Beto? Dude out there coming out on a skateboard as red as like, I'm going to come up there. I got an idea. During the rally, I'm going to jump on a skateboard. I'm going <laughs> to skate across the stage. Did you see when he went and ran to the border? He started shaking people's hands. <laughs> dude he started talking. He didn't Spanish. actually cross the border. He just act like he was friendly with him. Yeah, then the dude on stage talking Spanish. <laughs> don't know even know, don't even know how to speak proper Spanish. I mean, you you running in. I mean, I understand there's a couple of languages in America, but you, I mean, it's just so much virtue signaling and just yeah. too much progressivism. Yeah. It becomes like a damn. Yeah. You know he's going to use them damn ads on you next time. They're yeah. going to show you running for president. Yeah, it was nice and cold, and it was snowing. It was horrible. And here's Ted Cruz leaving, going to Cancun, Mexico. Yeah, just be prepared for that. I mean, you got a good excuse. I mean, your kids told you to go. <laughs> Can't say no yeah. to your kids, right? <laughs> but you know what, Ted? I still like you. I like you way better than Beto. And if you ever, ever. Become the Republican nominee, run this country for president, still gonna vote for you.
Because you're just a man trying to protect his family and do what's best for your family. If everybody did that on the left or right, stop relying on the government. If everybody had more of Ted Cruz and more of like the citizens that actually fled Texas was able to do it, if you just prepare, save your money, don't rely on anybody. I don't care how much you like Ted Cruz. I don't care how much you like Beto. You supposed to take care of your family. Yeah. If no you, governor, no government official is there to take care of you. Yeah. You're the man of your home. You're the woman of your home. You yeah. take care of your family. Yeah. If no politicians is there to take care of you. Yeah. Um. If you waiting for the government to take care of you, you yeah. are. <laughs> because they're gonna take care of that family. Yeah. And they in they in the bunker. When yeah. the bombs coming. They in the bunker. Yeah, y'all gonna be on Twitter. Where's the politicians? Oh my God, they're not here. Yeah, they in the bunker. Y'all, we gonna get blown up. <laughs> yeah, it's a valuable lesson for everybody. Take care of your own families. Yeah. Stop worrying about. Just go with the facts that's presented to you. The 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 information you have, and do the best job you can for your family. Yeah, and help each other. Yeah, and help each other. Don't rely on anybody. I don't I, care how how much of a conservative you are. I don't yeah. care how much of a liberal help you each are. Other, yeah. Take care of your own family. Stop worrying about what other people's doing. Yeah, speaking of helping people, yeah. Mike Lindell. Yeah. Man, support our president. I think they removed his product from like 18 stores. Not because yeah. he has a bad product. He has an amazing product. Yeah, took him out, of, um, banned him off of social media. Yeah. They're trying to actually crush this man's business. My yeah. Pillow. Mm -hmm. he's the owner of My Pillow. Yeah. So to support him, go to mypillow.com. Use discount code Harsh Twins. You can get up to 60% off. Yeah, get you purchase. some pillows, some pillow cases, yeah. get you some sheets. Man, this dude's even selling towels over there to make ends meet. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's yeah, selling so, it all. So support something like this should never, ever happen here not, in America. Not in America. They're not trying in a to, free country. They're trying to ruin this man just yeah. because he's got a different opinion. Not because he's like hurting people yeah. or he's doing criminal activity. Right. No, just because he's yeah. on the right and he supported the president of the United States. Yeah. Crazy. So support Mike Landale. Just use discount code Harsh Twins. Yeah. That was a damn good show. Yeah. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab, hit the links, follow us on Telegram, follow us on Rumble, and follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah.